everybody, Flexi Cosplay here. I wanted to show you how we made the wings, so I'm going to start with the back plate and all the electronics, and for that, I will let my husband do the talking. Hey everybody, my name is Sean, and uh, I help design the wing system. And uh, I started with some aluminum sheet metal. I wanted to try to make it fairly light, so I tried to use aluminum as best I could. I bent some ridges into it to make it stronger, since a flat piece of sheet metal just wobbles all over. Uh, we got the basic design of the wings, you know, set up and figured out where everything needed to be. You can see I bent these tabs and that's going to hold the basic wing bracket. I did not know how to weld and was having a lot of problems with my welder and uh, really just, oh, don't look at the welds, they're terrible. But it did actually end up being strong enough uh, despite the fact that it looks like utter garbage. But as you can see, I added some extra structures and this was the basic design of the wings. They open and close uh, through those tabs and they're bolted in, they're basically like a hinge. Right, we had to narrow it down a little bit, make it fit her body better and make it fit to the armor a little bit better. Needed to drill some holes at the top. Uh, it's handy to have a vertical mill for drilling holes and slots and things. And then we had to start getting the wires together. So basically it's wires pull the second set. And you can see here it's pulling uh, both directions. And so when the pulley turns one way, it closes. And when the pulley turns the other way, it opens. Now these are actually car window uh, actuators. And these are manuals, manual windows with a crank. So I made these flats and pulleys on a lathe. And then basically, you know, the pulley is attached just with a little belt drive here to the motor. And when that turns the pulley, it, you know, pulls both wires. It pulls on the right and the left wing simultaneously. And when it goes the other way, it closes. This is uh, to tension up the belt. So basically the motor moves up and down so that the belt has the proper tension on it. And you can just move that with a screw, somewhat like a car's alternator. Um, things starting to come together. I had to add these three bolts in and this was to make sure that the pulleys lined up correctly. I had a problem where they weren't perfectly lined up so I made a three axis basically where you could change each of the three bolts and change the pivot uh, of where the pulley was pointed. And once we all got, got it all together it uh, worked pretty reliably. It did end up being fairly slow um, and later on I add a larger motor to remedy that. Uh, also, some of the pieces of the wings were a little bit too weak and they ended up bending under a lot of stress. So I added those brackets to make them stronger. Originally running on a small lithium-ion battery. Uh, and then this is the limit switch is at the top. It clicks the little switch and that's how it knows it's all the way open and then the motor stops running. Uh, after that, it's time to start wiring things up. Uh, I got a bunch of you know, automotive wiring that I had laying around and attached some different switches to it. I made plugs to make sure that everything was able to come apart, you know, especially when some of the wires are running through the costume. It's the wiring diagrams. I was trying to figure everything out. And here's some of the cheap automotive plugs so that everything could come apart. After that, twist all the wires together and then you can wrap them and put a cable tie around them. Start adding lights to the wings and switch with the LEDs. So there's one switch for the lights and then a two-way switch for the motor. Everything wired up. It was originally pretty compact, but again, we didn't like how slow it was. So I ended up buying a much bigger motor and this bigger motor was too much for that small battery to handle. So we ended up having to go to a bigger battery with a little more weight, um, which wasn't perfect. but. Um, Overall, the effect of the wings opening and closing much faster was well worth it. You can see the bigger motor runs much faster, although you can't really see the wings moving. All right, so I know that was a fast and furious overview, but I hope that you got a good idea of what we did here, and maybe it'll help you with your wings. So stay tuned, part two will be how I made the light up feathers. <laughs>